Well, we have nothing but hard choices these days when it comes to our concealed carry options from the Myco Compact Compact and now the Macro Compact category that SIG has brought in with the X Macro. And because we have all those great options, today we're gonna to be comparing the Hellcat Pro to the new SIG X Macro. We are just living in really good times when it comes to our concealed carry choices. Everything seems to be getting smaller, lighter, but having more capacity, which is kind of crazy. Now, before we get into the direct comparison of both of these, we've got to pay the bills real quick with the help of TacPack. Now, if you don't know what TacPack is, they are a monthly subscription box where you can get all kinds of cool stuff to use out there, whether it's hunting, camping, fishing, all that good stuff. Say you need a hatchet, say you need a torque wrench, say you need a big karambit for your war belt. You can get all of those things with TACPAC. Check them out at TACPAC.com and use code TC to get yourself a free tactical gift after the first month. On to the comparison. So just so you know the format of today's video, we are gonna quickly go over each one of these individually. Then we will take a good look at them up close, compare and contrast what they come with, what they have on them. Of course, do the trigger pulls, talk about the triggers and all that. Then we will go to the range and compare what it's like with these out there side by side. And we will fire this off with the Hellcat Pro. Now this is the ultra compact 15 plus one capacity optics ready offering from Springfield Armory. The Hellcat Pro is for that person who wants maximum capacity with minimal size, something a little bit smaller than a compact, but not quite as small as a micro. On the range, the Hellcat Pro has been 100% reliable. Everything from the 124, 115 grain basic range ammo all the way through the self-defense stuff, whether it was critical duty, critical defense, and of course, what I normally carry, which is Spear Gold Dot Plus P. It ran everything, chewed it up, no problems. It has a pretty neutral grip angle, which I am a huge fan of personally, and it has great adaptive grip texture, especially for me out in Arizona when things get hot and sweaty on the range. Having grip texture is definitely a good thing. And since they have put that texture all the way around the grip and up on the front of the frame for those reference points, you can hold onto this thing and just blaze. And when we talk about those dollar bills, the Hellcat Pro without the optic comes in at an MSRP of $634. And now quickly, the Sig X Macro. And macro being the main word on this one. This thing is very interesting to say the least. 17 plus one capacity, intricately compensated on the slide up there, and it just bangs out on the range. The X Macro was almost custom built for the capacity it is king personality out there on the range, yet still gives you a very small, compact, and concealable size. The X Macro has been a real treat on the range, again, running 100% reliable with all of the basic ammo, 115, 124 grain practice stuff, and all of the good self-defense stuff, critical duty, critical defense, and that 124 grain spear gold dot plus P, which is what I run a lot. And I do have to say, it's about as perfect of a concealed carry size as you can actually get for us people with larger hands without being overly big, yet still giving you 17 rounds in the mag. The grip texture on the X Macro is solid, but it gives you the addition of interchangeable back straps for a little bit of a custom fit. And with all of that included, the Sig X Macro comes in with a price point of $799, leaving a mark on your wallet that you will not soon forget. We are at that point where we are going to take a good up close look at these side by side so you guys can see the differences in the options and how these things are equipped. But first, make sure you get subscribed to the channel, comment, like all that good stuff. After being demonetized, I'm kind of digging out of a hole. You get throttled a little bit after that happens to you. So sub up, hit the notification button, and let's check these out right now. All right, let's do our up close look at the X Macro as compared to the Springfield Armory Hellcat Pro. And let's talk quickly about what you're gonna get with these between the SIG and the Hellcat Pro. 
Obviously, you're going to get the pistol. You're going to get two magazines with each of them. And for the price of $7.99, come on, Sig, two mags. You'll get some form of carrying case or box or a little bag or something in the case of the Hellcat Pro. You're going to get a chamber flag, your trigger lock or your slide lock, and all of the normal manuals and paperwork. Unless you've got some kind of special edition, that's pretty much what you're going to get. Both of these are going to be polymer striker fired 9mm, which I'm pretty sure everybody knows. But just to clarify anything, now we will go over the full specs. I will just list them for you, but we're going to go over the main stuff here starting with the sig x macro this is going to be an overall length of 6.6 inches and you can see in my double xl sized hands kind of what that fit is going to be if you've got larger hands as well or kind of picture it if you've got smaller hands so not bad in the overall length category our barrel in here is going to be 3.1 inches and for the reason uh <laughs> they decided to put an integrated compensator into the slide. So a little bit shorter of a barrel, same length slide, but you do get the added benefit of having that compensator in there. She's gonna come in at 21.5 ounces and having that capacity of 17 plus one rounds, which is very nice for having a use out on the range. The SIG will come with the factory X-ray sights. It's going to be a green, very bold front and darked out rear. They will be night sights and they are very nice. I have to say SIG has some of the nicest sights in the game from the factory right now. The slide will be nitron coated, which is a very durable coating. I think most people know. Single sided controls, nothing ambidextrous here on the SIG, but that magazine release will be reversible. So moving over to the Hellcat Pro. This again, like the SIG, is going to be 6.6 .6 inches in length to give you a really good idea of grip and everything here in my hands. So you guys can kind of imagine what it would be like in yours, knowing I have two X size hands there. Just slightly a different feel than the SIG. You'll have a 3.7 inch barrel on this one because it is the full length of the slide. No integrated compensator here. And she will come in at 21 ounces flat having flush fit stainless steel magazines of 15 plus one rounds, giving it two less than the SIG. When it comes to the sights, you're gonna get a very bold front sight and you're gonna get a U-notch kind of white rear, very usable, and they are awesome sights from the factory. I do dig them, they work well. I have never had a problem with them. Both of these are going to be factory milled, direct to slide for an RMSC pattern style of red dot. Um, again, this red dot does not come with it. It's just on there and I don't want to change it. So let's talk about side by side, top to bottom, the differences. Now, 6.6 .6 inches in total overall length is exactly the same. The reason for that being, you get a little bit of barrel protrusion on the slide of the Hellcat Pro, where you obviously don't get that because the barrel is depressed into the slide of the X Macro. But you can see the width and everything, the length, it's almost identical. It's almost indistinguishable, the difference between the two. Where you will get a slight bit of difference is the base plate down here on the SIG. I'll flip these over for you, try to get these about as flat on the top as I can. And you're just gonna see a slight protrusion, oops, slip down, a slight protrusion of the magazine base plate right there. Now the reason for that is obviously, the Hellcat has a flush fit mag where the SIG's base plate extends out of the base. So that's really going to be the biggest difference in size between the two, just so you guys have a really good understanding. So I know it's about time for the trigger. So let's start off with the Hellcat Pro here. We'll do a couple of test pulls here. So that is your take up, very solid wall and a break. No real creep to speak of. There's your reset. Again, wall, break. We'll go ahead and leave this here. We'll show you the trigger pulls on the SIG, and then we'll put them on the gauge. So much more forward set. You can see very angular. There's your wall, solid wall, no creep and a good break. Here's our reset right there. Very tactical and very audible. And there is your break. We're gonna do three pulls on each of these on the gauge just to see which one is going to come out on top and i have about the same amount of rounds through both of them not one has a ton more rounds than the other because that can make a difference 
So let's start off with the pro again. We'll zero out our gauge here. We'll do two or three pulls on each. It's tough to get in these small trigger guards sometimes. All right. So our first one there is five pounds, one ounces. We will enter that. That's about what she feels like, quite honestly. Okay, 5.2, pretty consistent there. We'll enter that one. And unless we get something really screwball here, we should be good to go. All right, that broke really weird. I slipped up on that and went down to 311. We are gonna redo that one. I don't know if you caught that, but the gauge literally slipped off the side of the trigger there as it was breaking, because I'm having trouble getting it all the way in there. All right, there's the break. Five pounds, 11 ounces on that one. So with a little bit of a hang up, we're gonna be right there in the bottom at four pounds, 14 ounces for the overall. So let's go ahead, reset that and put the Hellcat aside. And we will start working on the X macro. All right, our first pull right there, five pounds, two ounces. Feels a little bit lighter than that to me, but we're going with what the gauge says. Second one, 5.5 ounces. All right, here's our third one. Again, unless we get something weird. That one came down to 4.6, so we'll enter that. Overall, four pounds and 15 ounces, not bad. And again, like I said, these have about the exact same amount of rounds through them. One of them is not like overly broken in as compared to the other one. So go ahead, make sure you get subbed up real quick. And now for those that need it, the full specs. It's time for the part you probably have all been waiting for, and that is the range comparison. So between the two, like I said, they have both run 100% reliably on all the ammunition that I have tried, 115, 124, and all of my standard self-defense, critical duty, critical defense, and typically my Spear Gold Dot Plus P in the 124 grain. There are a couple of differences out there that stand out pretty immediately between the two, and we will get into the trigger category first. Now, you've already seen what they looked like up close, but I will say out on the range, the SIG squeaks past the Pro when it comes to the trigger category in pretty much every way, it just feels a little bit better. Um, it felt a little lighter, it felt a little crisper out there on the range, and there definitely didn't feel like there was as much take up or lag between yanking on that trigger to go as fast as possible. I don't know if you've experienced something different, but the SIG 365 series triggers, or this X macro trigger, it feels a lot better than the full size 320 stuff. Uh, when it comes to the Hellcat Pro, it's not a bad trigger, but it definitely just doesn't have uh, the overall feel that the X macro had. Now getting into a little bit about how these actually feel when you're holding them in your hand or presenting them out on target, I will say both the X Macro and the Hellcat Pro give you the feeling that you have something bigger in your hand than they are. They just feel not quite like a Glock 17, not a Glock 19. They just feel almost like a CZP10C, which is not quite the size of a 17, but a little bit bigger than a 19, if that makes sense. It just gives you the feeling you've got something bigger in the hand, which kind of inspires confidence once you start pulling the trigger, especially since they're both smaller pistols. And moving on from there, when we start talking about holding on to these things, that's where the grip texture is gonna come into play. For me, there was an easy standout here. The Hellcat Pro has a little bit better of that adaptive grip texture on it. It's all the way around that grip. It's up front on the uh, frame and those reference points. And I just felt that out there, especially in the summertime, it was just a little bit easier to get a good firm grip and not move around as much. Now, the SIG grip is pretty good on there. The texture is pretty nice and the single finger groove is not bad at all, but I just have to give it to the Hellcat Pro when it comes to the actual grip texture. Now we will go ahead and move on to the controls because that's always a big point of contention between ambi, left-sided, right-sided, wrong-handed, right-handed for you lefties out there. Whether it's the magazine release or the slide stop side release, both of them are gonna be single-sided. Both of them are gonna be very easy to use once you get used to the pistol. There's really no standout between the two when it comes to slide stop, slide release, mag release. It's just gonna be a wash. And don't be angry, my lefties, for calling you wrong-handed. I've got nothing but love for you, but apparently the firearms industry doesn't. Moving on to the factory iron sights here. Again, this is gonna be a wash. They both give you bold front sights, a very nice usable rear sight. There's not gonna be a clear standout on either. 
Both of them work great. I didn't notice an accuracy difference between either of them. And you can clearly hit targets from quite a good distance. I go out regularly 50, 75 yards with pistols this size. You're going to be able to hit your target as long as you have good sight picture, good alignment, and a good trigger press. Both of these pistols are optic ready and both of them are direct milled for the RMSC. Again, making this a real wash between the two. There's not one that's going to stand out over the other, at least in my opinion. They give you the same footprint. They give you the same direct to slide. It's probably about as good as it's going to get. And now we are getting right into capacity where the arguments start. Obviously, 17 plus 1 is greater than 15 plus 1, at least in my remedial math the last time I checked. And if you are the one whose God is capacity and the Lord and altar upon which you worship is having an extra two rounds, of course, that's 17 plus 1 in about the same size footprint, almost an indistinguishable size footprint from the Hellcat Pro, that X macro is going to be mighty tasty for dinner. And even though you do get that two additional rounds, the size difference between the two is so minimal, I really don't count it as a negative against the SIG. It's pretty much a positive. And here is where people start to get angry. The reliability between the X macro and the Hellcat Pro. Like I've said more than once now, both of them have performed 100% flawlessly for me. However, I've seen videos out on YouTube of both of these things choking, absolutely dying. I don't know if it was the ammo or they hadn't been cleaned or if it was just a manufacturer problem. Pretty much like any mechanical device, there's always going to be a percentage that just craps the couch. So yes, I know both of them. There are videos out there where they're non-functional or they're having function issues. All I can tell you is both of mine have run 100% and I guess I'm lucky, but Compared to the videos that had problems and compared to the videos that have not had problems or people that I know personally that have both, it seems to be the reliability is going to be a wash. Where we do have a very noticeable difference is the difference in felt recoil between the X Macro and the Hellcat Pro. And obviously, surprise, surprise, you figured it out because the X Macro has a integrally compensated slide on it. So the barrel is short and you port gas out the top because gas leaves at the path of least resistance. So some's going to go out the front. But as that bullet's leaving the barrel, something's going to go out the top. And that's going to minimize your felt recoil and muzzle rise. Now, I'm not saying it is a huge difference that's like, oh my god, I gotta have the macro. But it's a noticeable difference between pretty much anything else in the same size category. It really does recoil quite nice as compared to the Pro. And I will say that some out there say the Pro recoil is kind of like getting kicked by a mule. Now, that would be them, and I would say hit the gym a little bit. But... The Pro definitely kicks like a donkey a little bit more as compared to the X Macro. Now, if that part didn't make somebody angry in the comment section down below, this is definitely going to. Talking about the accuracy between the difference, because inevitably someone asks, and I don't know if it's because they're poking the bear, or if I don't know, it's because they really just don't know, what's the accuracy like as compared to a full size? Well, I can't tell you, because I'm not going to compare compact and micro compact and smaller pistols to a full size, they're gonna be quite a bit different. You're gonna have a different sight radius, you're gonna have different recoil impulse, you're gonna have smaller grips. So comparing a compact to a full size just isn't fair. And I don't, I don't think that question really needs to be answered, but accuracy wise, you're probably not gonna see a difference between the two. Like I said, I've regularly taken these pistols out to 50, 75 yards without issue on a, I think it's 12 by 20, two thirds Ibzig steel plate. And I can ring that steel. Now, that being said, if you've got a good trigger press and a good master grip and everything, you're going to hit what you're aiming at. And quite honestly, the differences in uh, accuracy between where you're going to be shooting these pistols at distance-wise probably isn't going to matter. And I would say if you do find an accuracy difference, it's probably because one of them, either grip size, angle, texture, or trigger, is probably better fit or suited to your hand because we're all different and we all have different hands. And buying a pistol, which works for one person, may not be the best for another person. That's why you have to kind of fit a pistol to your hand. And lastly, the biggest difference is going to be the price. $643 for the Hellcat with no optic on it, so optic not included, and $799 for the Sig X Macro. Now, my redneck math, that's about $150 cash money American large difference, and that's a pretty penny going from the Hellcat Pro into the Sig X Macro. And although I really do like the Sig X Macro, especially with that Icarus Precision Grip module right here, a $799 pistol, it is not. Now, when I'm looking around out there, I can regularly find the Hellcat Pro 
for $5.99. I cannot find the X macro for anything less than $7.99, making that a real world price difference of 200 bones. I guess again, SIG making a great $500 pistol for 800 bucks. And for anybody that was butthurt, that's just a joke. I really do like some SIG, but they just seem to be a little bit pricey. Now, do I personally have a difference between the Pro and the X Macro? I just wanna take them both out there and bust them dual wielding. For me, quite honestly, I don't have a huge difference. If I didn't own both of them, I would probably say it would come down to price, making the Hellcat Pro a little bit more uh, desirable, but the X Macro is no slouch. It is very cool. It just comes with a price tag that you, your wife, and your wallet are definitely not gonna forget. And honestly, picking between the two is kind of a kick in the pants. You either have to really love SIG or really dislike Springfield, or just worship at the altar of capacity and need that extra two rounds. Um, so it's tough. It really is a tough decision, and it's one you have to make because one could literally fit your hand a little bit better, and that can make all the difference out there. And for me personally, being able to own both of them, I just wanted to get them both on camera and show you these concealed carry monsters and hopefully help you out if you're trying to make a decision between one for the other. Well, now that we are at the end, make sure you get subbed up. Like I said, since being demonetized, I've got a little bit of a restriction thing going on. So I'm kind of digging my way out of a hole. It'll be a huge help if all of you guys out there that aren't subscribed, hit the subscribe button or double check that you're subscribed and turn the notification icons on. That's a big help. Give the video a thumbs up, leave me a comment. We'll talk a little bit in there and uh, hopefully I can get back to growing the way it was before I got kicked in the nuts by YouTube. Well, that is what I have for you all today. Get out on the range, have some fun. Remember, if you stay ready, you ain't got to get ready. And yes, I'm holding both of them up. I will see you all on the next one.